Though he has years of experience in child care, Dan Hill's future in the field is no longer certain. It's getting harder to find jobs. It's getting harder to do anything. Hill is unvaccinated against COVID-19. He says he's not anti-vax, only hesitant after having bad reactions to medication in the past. He hasn't yet talked to his doctor about whether or not he qualifies for a medical exemption. Health Canada lists things like allergies and heart inflammation as acceptable exemptions. I'm not in those categories. I'm one that's going to fall through the cracks because there is health things, but it's not health things that I will get exempted for. He's up for a job in Fredericton with an interview lined up for Friday, but New Brunswick's workplace vaccination rules put Hill's candidacy in jeopardy. And now the Prime Minister is announcing Canada-wide vaccination rules. So you are the expert here. Hill is not alone. There are people all over Canada who are now having their work status impacted by their vaccination status. What are the options for people in his position? I mean, it could, it may be seen as a violation of rights, but I mean, the court or the tribunal can uh, go a second step and say, is this justified in order to protect like the greater good? Is this a justified violation? And um, I would suspect that the answer would be yes. Walker says a lot of legal consultation goes into government decisions like this and anyone feeling they have a valid reason to remain unvaccinated has to be prepared to provide thorough proof. Running out of options, Hill says he'll talk to his doctor. I'm not saying I will never be vaccinated. That is, yeah, I'm not in that group that are saying I will never be vaccinated. Right now, I'm not ready yet. New Brunswick's workplace vaccination mandates go into effect November 19th. The federal government's October 29th. Travis Fortnum, Global News, St. John.